Okay, ladies, I think it's quite feasible we're live. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I hope we're live. I hope Tina managed to get her printing done. Um, this this um, is a shadow box card, which my friend Penny um, showed me how to make. Um, I have made quite a few, um, and I do very much like them. I did this one at Christmas, and um, I've actually put lights in this one. I just was deciding that maybe it was something, you know, you've got to have lights at Christmas, haven't you? Um, you know, so that was, uh, you can do this with anything. Um, just, you know, it's just a case of a frame and a, and a box for the shadow. This is a decoupage from Crafts You Print that um, Penny turned into a shadow box card. And I, I do love the way the vehicles look like they're actually um, coming off the page, so to speak. Um, the only thing I can't give you um, as, uh, with this live, I can't give you the bracket at the back. Um, I mean, obviously, if you have some form of die cutting machine like a cameo a scan and cut or a cry cut i could email you the the svg file um but other than that you're going to have to make your own stand of some way shape or variety i do know that john next door has dies um to do one of these stands um, not exactly the same but very similar so Hopefully, this this is what the um, the stand actually looks like uh, when it ain't attached. Okay, so that's the only bit I can't give you. Hopefully, you've managed to print um, what I asked you to. Not sure about Tina. Um, <laughs> let's hope she did. This is what you're going to need. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut this out with you because I haven't done it. So I'm just going to put this under my trimmer and I'm going to trim like so. Hopefully you've got some form of trimmer or you've already got yours ready. I was a little bit on the slow side this morning. So that's my background piece. And this is going to be our shadow part. And this bit you can actually use. I'm sorry if it's wobbling about, but I've actually got this cat, this phone attached to the back of the chair. So I'm trying not to wobble, but it's very difficult. I've got a very wobbly body. Okay. part in the center here we've got to cut out okay now you need this part so you can't just cut it out with scissors so you're gonna to have to use a knife uh, of some variety um, in order to cut this out I need to change my glasses for this guys so I just take my knife and I cut And we are literally cutting it out like so. You may want to use a ruler. I'm not very good with the ruler. I'm better off doing it freehand. Or not as the case may be. through. I think my blade is a little bit blunt. It's also a bit missing off the end. You will need a ruler ladies. 
because we're going to have to measure the hole. This is why I couldn't give you measurements. Depending on how you cut, depends on the size of the hole that you're going to be leaving. In theory it should be the same as mine, but I can't guarantee your printer's printed exactly the same as mine. Okay. So now we've removed it. I'm just going to trim up my fluffy bits. <laughs> Sorry. My mind wandered then. <laughs> ah, so I'm cooking back. Right. So we've now cut that out. We have to measure, and we have to do this in centimetres. I don't do new money very well, um, but this particular one I have to do in centimetres. So you're actually going to measure across your gap. Okay, mine says that it's a couple of smidges under 13 centimetres. But to be fair, I will call that 13. All right, so I will call that 13. And I then need to check the other, the other way. Yes, it's exactly the same the other way. So we've got 13 here. I'm then going to add 2 centimetres to this side. 2 centimetres to this side. The same here and the same here. So I need to cut a piece of card that is 17 centimetres by 17 centimetres square. Okay, so I'm going to put it to 17, like so. Seventeen, like so. Okay, we've got the wrong scoreboard down here. That's Clara Pimbo. Two shakes, ladies. I'll be back. about that. I only had my inch scoreboard. Oh that was good exercise. Okay now we take this square and we're going to score at one centimeter and two centimeters on all four sides. So it's one And two, one, Ooh, sorry, and two. One and two. Now where did my pencil go? So you can see, hopefully you can see that. Now, what you're actually going to do is you're going to cut out these parts just in the corners. I will show you. Can you see? So we're going to cut out these three squares on each corner like so. Alright, I do hope you're following along with this. Like 
some of my card social ladies would love me to make a video of this. So hopefully when we get to the end of this, I'll be able to load it up and they'll be able to see it. Because it should have been my card social today. Hence the reason that I quite often can't come to Tina's things. Not only do I not drive, but Tina usually has her craft days on my card social days. Now, we've got it like this. So you're just going to snip up there and snip up there just to the crease. Rotate it fully and again snip and snip. So what you're making is little flaps. Now I do take a little sliver out of each side to make proper little tabs. Just like you're making a box. Same thing here. And again, just tiny little bit here. Let's get rid of this. We don't need you. So hopefully our picture will fit in that gap. Mine needs a little bit of trimming. I'm just going to trim slightly, just a tad, or a smidge, both ends, just a smidge. Let's have a look, see. Same thing there, just a smidge, perfect, okay, so we now it fits perfectly. I stick this down before I do anything, once you've made that the correct size, I actually stick it down. You don't have to, you can do it afterwards should you want. I just find it an awful lot easier to do it this way. Now we're going to burnish our score marks. So you fold it in. Okay, so this one's folded in. And then you fold this one back. So you end up with a little edge. You see that? Okay, I do hope you can see this. So, fold it in, and burnish, and then fold the top one back, like so. Oh, I can pretend I'm at card social. Yippee! And then fold it back. So, fold it in. Fold it back. There we go. And this creates the area for our frame to sit on. Okay. So what you're now going to do is actually make the box, the shadow part. So these little tabs, I'm going to put a bit of glue 
and I'm using um, Cosmic Shimmer Glue. It's my go-to glue. If it's not that, then it's Art Institute. Fold the flap holder over on the outside of this. Hold it a few secs and it will stick. That's what I love about this glue. It's the bee's knees. And then fold it in. Like so. Move around to the other one. And then fold it around. Like so. Last one coming up. Hope you're keeping up with me, ladies. It's a glorious day out there. I bet you'll all get some gardening done and stuff. I'm a dreadful gardener. Right. So there we go. That is the shadow part. Okay. Now we're going to stick that to the frame. And again, I will use my Cosmic Shimmer Glue. If you could see the contraption that's holding my phone up, we've got a large lump of wood stuck to the back of this chair. Here indoors is a genius. There we go, so it's all glued. And then we're just gonna position this. And then we'll flip it over and burnish. And we've got to flip it back, just make sure we're still in the right place. Yes. While it's still slightly flexible. There we go. Sorted. Now, in fact, that's the right way around. Um, what I would now do at this point on here, I attach my hinge. This, you need to do this when it's flat. So, I sp you can do it afterwards, but it's just a tad easier, and then some, if you do it while it's flat, and not got a box on top. So I'm gonna buy either middle, I'll happily send you the SVG or if you don't have that type of machine if you want to private message me your home address then I will cut you a few out on my cameo and I will send them to you as soon as I'm able because I am self-isolating and I haven't been to the shops for nearly four weeks so and there you go, that's, that's actually your, uh, that's what will make it stand up. Okay, now, you've nearly done, apart from the decorating. This part is going to stick to this part. Again, I'm using Cosmic Shimmer. And Art Institute is also a really, really good glue. But this one grabs quite quickly. You do have a little bit of movement. But it does grab relatively quickly. Now, eyeball it. That's it ish. There we go. Done.
And that, ladies, is how you make a shadow box card without any dies. Now I designed all this in serif. Um, same with this. I got this image from Google Images. Um, I got that. So obviously you have to be careful because it's probably not royalty free or something. But this I actually designed myself. Um, okay, so that is your shadow box frame. Very easy, it's not difficult. Um, you can make them any size you choose. This one's actually This one is just shy of seven and a half square. There you go, ladies. Now the fun part comes to the decorating. Um, you can use die cut flowers, you can use anything, anything you choose to stick on it, you can. Um, as you can see with this one, I have lots of flowers. I even used some stuff um, that I found randomly. I think I was in QD scores, stores and they had these little um, sprigs of stuff and I literally took the sprig apart. Um, there's curly cues, foliage, pearls, um, anything you fancy um, you can stick on it. Um, there you go ladies. I hope you have fun. And truly, I would love to see what you make. Um, it, it, it's a pleasure when I see somebody um, making something um, that I've shown them how to do. It's, it's my buzz, my drug of life, I think. So, take care, ladies, um, and I'll catch up with you on the group soon. Thank you.